Welcome. All right, so in this case, this is not very apparent to be in a perfect square trinomial. So probably a lot of you would look at this and say, well, I'm not going to factor by you know, looking at a perfect square. However, remember, whenever you see your first term and your last term are square numbers, then always try to see, determine if you can factor by using a perfect square, um, by perfect square factoring. If you can't go and do it, then you can obviously apply your different factoring techniques. Because just because it has a first term and a last term um, are both perfect squares does not mean it's always a perfect square trinomial. But in this case, let's assume it is and see if we can come up with the correct answer that's, gonna, uh, that's going to solve us. So again, to solve, I'm going to set this equal to 0. Now, if I'm going to factor this, I, since I know my first term and my last term are square numbers, I'm going to say, all right, well, what's the square root of this coefficient and what's the square root of this constant? Well, the square root of 1 of one ninth is going to be uh, 1 third. And then obviously, the square root of x squared is x. So that would be 1 third x. Now, since this is a negative as my middle term, I know that the second two terms also, these two terms have to, my two factors have to be uh, subtraction. And then uh, the square root of 36 is going to be 6 times 6. Now, before I go in to say, oh, I got this correct, let's go and actually multiply this just to make sure that the math I did, or I can factor that, that is the correct factored version. So if I was going to apply distributive property here, well, obviously we know that's going to be 1, 9 x squared. And that's going to be a positive 36. Now, let's go and check our middle term. So negative 3 times uh, 3x is going to be a negative 2x. And then 1 third, 1 third x times negative 6 is going to be a negative 2x. Well, obviously, that goes to negative 4x. So therefore, this is a perfect square trinomial. Now I can rewrite this as a binomial squared. And now apply the zero product property to solve. Oh, I'm sorry. Apply my square root method to solve, not my zero product property. So therefore, that's 1 third x minus 6, add 6, add 6. Then I have 6 equals 1 third x multiplied by 3 over 1, the reciprocal on both sides. And therefore, I get 18 equals x is our solution um, to this perfect square trinomial. Thanks.